All right, let's talk about Howling Rays. Um, I was watching a David Dobrik and Josh Peck mukbang. They were eating uh, tenders, chicken tenders. And so um, I did some research. I found out that it might be one restaurant. So I followed them on Instagram because I loved their pictures of their food. And uh, Instagram recommended Howling Rays as another similar profile. And so I went and followed Howling Rays because they had bomb pictures too. And little by little, like the little cult following for me kind of started with like, oh, I love them because they were posting things about their chefs, their story that really made me connect with their restaurant. It wasn't just the cool pictures of the food, but I was starting to connect with the people behind this organization behind this franchise. So that's how the, that's how I really like started to say like, okay, I have to go to this place and eat here. When I saw the opportunity to go to California, I was like, I have to make a stop at Howling Rays. And I went there and I told my cousin, you know, I was getting ready, I was gonna head out. He let me crash at his place. And I was like, hey, you wanna go eat? I, there's this place I wanna try called Howling Rays. He looked at me, he's like, Oh, I've heard of it. I've been wanting to go. So we went. <laughs> it's like, it's just picture like, okay, like mom's calling for food. You run down the stairs and then somebody's like, nope, hang on, stop. Two hour wait. It's like, oh my God, it's a two hour wait, bro. I was like, I don't know about you, but I'm waiting. I don't care how long I have to wait. I have to try it. I'm here. I got to try it. So we're waiting in line. We meet these two girls in front and we start talking. We have people that are sitting outside eating and we're watching them eat and it's like oh my god so the buzz is being created right everybody's talking about you know how you have half the people excited that they're waiting half of the other people being like is it really worth it Do, like we should go get carl's jr in my head i'm thinking are you kidding me right now carl's jr as opposed to this um so the wait was totally worth it i totally love the wait um it, it's an experience it's an experience and if you you know, one day you won't have to wait in that big long line, which is cool. But all of us that went while they were still like that popular, we're going to remember those lines. And those are some really good memories that you will always have uh, going forward. When, when I walked in, like you, you definitely feel the atmosphere. It's like an electric buzz, you know, and, it, and it's all because of, of the way they do customer service. Their customer service is impeccable. Smiles, everybody's saying hello. And here, here's the thing, it's a culture. You can't just go to a retail store and tell employees like, hey, we gotta do this. Like, no, those associates have to be passionate about the store. Those chefs have to be passionate about the name of the restaurant they're working for. They're, the leader there, is definitely for sure oh my god it sounds like a cult but no but they, they really buy in because it's a family atmosphere you know when, when you walk in there they welcome you they're smiling you know they know that they're giving you this amazing experience so you you go with it you know if you have an open mind you go with it and luckily uh, eric and i went and sat on the, on the counter because there's two uh chairs at the very end it was one of those things that he was like, hey, there's two places at the counter. Do you want to go? And I'm like, yeah. But I didn't think about it because yeah, I'd rather eat there than go outside. So I was like, yeah, yeah, do it. But as soon as I sat down and I realized, oh my God, we're at the counter. Yo, it went crazy. Here's why. Because, because as soon as we sat down, I, sorry, I forgot his name. I think it's Sam, Samuel, something like that. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, guy. If you remember me and I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. We sat down, he gave us, he was like, here, compliments of the house. Gave us a little box with fries on the bottom with the coleslaw on top, the little house dressing that they got and like bits of grilled chicken in there, right? Like tenders cut up, chopped up in, in, the, in the box. And I was like, we just got this for free? That, that would have made our day. That would have made our day. But then, you know, they, they, they're asking us like, hey, where are you from? And I'm sitting there like, God, like this is a really good experience. It's like you're meeting a celebrity and they're so open to talking to you. Like you're the imp important one. And 
get our food and they do this thing where they, they have the burger and then they, they give it to you, right? So you could take a picture or something like that. I, stupid of me, like I zoomed in on the, on, the, on the sandwich, the chicken sandwich and I pulled back and I checked it. And this dude was like waiting, like, wait, I was supposed to give you the sandwich. And like something told me like look up and I was like, oh yeah, the sandwich. So then like, I think I did it again and this time I grabbed it. So I thought that was my little stupid blonde moment, but sorry to all the blondes. But yeah, like they just made us feel so great. And then they actually gave us like a couple extra tenders, like two or three tenders and another box. I was like, what? And then they gave us waffles for free. We got like three or four entrees on the house for free. Eric and I are looking at each other like, what the hell? It's literally like in the pictures when somebody has all these boxes laid out. That's what our counter looked like. It got so messy. My hands were getting greasy. The ca my camera was getting, they were spraying this thing on the waffles. Got all over my camera. My camera was all greasy. I didn't care. My phone was getting greasy. Like me and Eric are just stuffing our faces and it was such an amazing experience because of their customer service and just the overall family atmosphere. And the food was amazing. Yeah, so the, 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 um, the chicken, you see these pictures, right? And it's like, okay, well, hamburger bun, french fries, chicken and some coleslaw in there with some dressing. I can kind of picture what it's gonna, I can kind of simulate what it's gonna taste like in my head. When I took a bite of that sandwich, it actually tasted very different from anything I've ever tasted before because of the seasoning. Not that the chicken was this thing given, delivered from heaven. It was because the seasoning was really strong and I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but as you eat it and chew it and you have the juices of the chicken and the white meat is just, tastes, it tastes amazing. The seasoning actually mixes very well with the bun, coleslaw, um, the slaw that they put on top and the house dressing. So the seasoning really gave everything like that little extra kick. And it was not spicy, but it was making my nose run. I don't know why, maybe it was a little spicy, but I'm kind of used to it. And I just remember like it was so, so delicious that I ate it a little too quick in, uh, for me to enjoy it. If I ever go back, I'm gonna sit down and savor every bite, but that's my mistake as a beginner. I got too amped up and hyped up, but it was, it was amazing. Yeah, I definitely do recommend it. I mean, after everything I just said, if I don't recommend it, I'd be kind of dumb, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, you guys can follow uh, Howling Rays at Howling Rays on Instagram. I think they have a Twitter. Definitely go check out their page. And if you live in the California area, go to Chinatown. Then just like, real, they're like in a little nook. I almost thought I wasn't gonna find it, but I found it pretty quickly. In Chinatown, just expect an hour and a half, two hour wait. But trust me, it's worth it. It's very worth it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button if you've ever been to Howling Rays and comment what your experience was like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will be putting out more videos coming up shortly. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you clicking on this video and sticking through it to the end. You guys are troopers. I'll be doing food reviews here in Las Vegas. So if you guys are interested in that, comment and I'll see, or recommend places actually. Places I might not know so I can go and do the same thing, so. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time, bye. All right, well first of all, I'm here with Eric. We're at Howling Rays. And I've never gotten this type of service. This shit is crazy. Check Show them the food, show them the food. God. All right, so, you know, you usually go to a place, right? And you get like some food. We got everything. Got fries. Got the, the sando. We got the pickled coleslaw fries with the cheese inside. We got some wings. wings. We got check, check this out. Waffles. We got some tenders. Tenders, fries. Like half of this stuff was free. Like they take care of you. Like this is customers at its best. That guy's awesome by the way. That's the owner right there.
the um, the line outside is a two hour wait, but it was so, so worth it right now. And uh, yeah, I never go, I, hi Maria. I never go live, but I think this was worth it. Was it worth it? Yeah.